Hi everyone, this is Esther from Chakra UI. So Chakra UI recently launched Fig Pilot and today I want to show you how to maximize the power of Fig Pilot. If you're unsure about what Fig Pilot is, it's a Figma plugin that allows you easily and quickly convert your Figma designs into Chakra UI code in a single click. So I'm right inside Figma and I'll be creating a simple design right now. I'll start by installing the Chakra UI Figma kit. So I go into assets and just install it now. So as simple as that, I've activated my Figma kit for this. For best results, it's advisable to use the Chakra UI Figma kit because you have most of the components that are available in Chakra. And when you create your design, it easily maps to the API structure in Chakra UI. So I start by creating a navigation bar at the top and I'm just going to select a frame here and the desktop would be MacBook Pro 14 inches. So I create my navigation bar at the top, I'll draw a rectangle here. Um, I'm going to give it the height of 80 pixels. Yeah, I think that looks good. So now that I've installed the Chakra UI Figma UI kit, I will notice that I have all the colors that are available in the Chakra UI theme token. So I'm going to select a gray dot hundred for my navigation background and then i go in to create the elements in the navigation bar i've created a simple logo here so i'm going to drop this logo here and then create other navigation items quickly i'll give this enter Yeah, so this is what I want and I'll make it a 15 pixel font size. So I'm just going to put pricing here and put product. It can really be anything you want it to be. About support. And then I go ahead to align this element properly. So I just select everything, give it a uniform, um, give it a uniform spacing horizontally and make them align center. Awesome. So right now I want to create two buttons at the far right of my nav bar. So I go into Chakra UI Figma kit and grab the button component from there. And here I can see that this is a component, so I'm allowed to modify the properties of this component. I want the size to be small size. Um, I don't want any left icon or right icon. And I'm going to change the, the button to read sign in. Yeah, and I'm going to give it the variant of um, outline. Awesome. So we have this here. And then I'll just duplicate this button and have a sign up button here. And tweak the variance to be a solid variance suite. So this is what we have here. I can move this closer. Yeah, and make sure that they're center aligned. Awesome. So now we've created a very simple navigation bar, but you notice that they are not properly aligned. So I can then decide to center them on the entire frame. So I select this group and then I just move it. Yeah, so it's centered. So I have a very simple nav bar created in Figma. Next, I'm going to launch the Chakra Fig Pilot to see what we have. So to do this, I'm going to group every single thing together. So I'll group all the elements. And then I group this as well. Cool. So now that we have this group, we can launch our fig pilot. 
so i go into plugins and i go into development for you it will show up as chakra ui fig pilot but i'm using the development version of the fig pilot so i'm going to click chakra ui and we see that we have our code generated for us so let's see when we preview what happens you this now and you see that there's a problem with our design this is giving you this because right now in figma we do not have any of all those elements in auto layout so everything is just um, not properly flexed and they are not in the right alignment so we're going to fix this quickly in figma so we go back to Figma and this is the first mistake that you should avoid when you're using the Figma plugin. You do not just want to put everything as an individual element, but you want to use auto layout to identify the relationship between elements and make sure that they are all properly aligned. So I'm just going to ungroup most of what I did here. I'm going to ungroup them and then we're going to design them individually. Cool. So now this group of um, navigation items, we're going to apply an auto layout to them like so. And then I have my sign up and sign in buttons and I'm also going to apply an auto layout to them on the right corner here. Cool. And now I want to auto layout all of this three elements. That is the logo, the navigation, um, links and then the buttons so I select all of them and then I click on auto layout sweet finally I want to establish the relationship between this and the background so I select the two this and this and I select auto layout sweet so now what we've just done is we've ensured that all of these elements are not individual elements but they all have a relationship between them by using the auto layout so they have constraints and then we can easily adjust the spacing between all of these elements so right now we go back and we go back and then i run my chakra fig pilots and then you see what we have so preview sweet so this is what we have you can notice that unlike this first one where everything was just poorly placed and there was no alignment or relationship between the elements that we created but right now that we've applied auto layout you can notice that the logo is properly placed the nav items are properly placed and then the buttons are properly placed you also see that because these are chakra buttons you have the hover effect applied to all of them so this is really what we want so now i'm just going to go back to figma and build out the second section now that we understand that we need auto layout i'll quickly build out the next section and show you how to convert it with fig pilot Now I can select the color I want. So I'm just going to select a gray 500 here and then place it in. Next up, I'll go back to assets and grab a button. I'm going to turn off the left icon of this button and change the text to um, request demo. And then the icon, I'm going to look for a chevron right icon. So like we already know the power of auto layout. So instead of laying out all of these elements as it is, 
we need to group them and apply an auto layout to them so that there there's a constraint between them and there's a relationship between them very similar to how you apply flex to items when you're developing but in figma you apply auto layout so i'm gonna group these two first and apply an auto layout to them and then i'm gonna group this and apply an auto layout to this too add auto layout sweet so finally i'm going to add an image right here so let's go back to assets in chakra ui and then we drag in an image yes i'm just going to expand this image a bit more this is what we have here and then we apply an auto layout between the text and then the image that we just created so adding an auto layout and we see that they all align themselves properly so right now what we need to do is to create an auto layout between this and the navigation bar we created earlier right so i click on auto layout and then we notice that everything is properly constrained and all the elements are properly placed in our design we can then go ahead to convert this design into code by selecting the plugin and then we preview yes this is clean so right now we notice that we do not have an image source on our code when we go back to our code and inspect it we realize that we don't have an image source so i'm going to grab an image source from unsplash and add in an alt as well so i place the source here and add in an alt you can just call this collaboration for now and then we check our code and we see that this has been very neatly and nicely placed so obviously you can go back into your code to do a bit of cleanup here and there and optimization but this is really how to use the chakra fig pilot that just recently launched let me know if you have any questions or comments or things you would love to see built with fig pilots and don't forget to give it a try and let me know what you think bye